In this video of C language, we are going to start with file I.O. Basically, so far, whatever programming we have done, we were using any identifiers, whether a variable or a constant, to store the values. But whatever values we have stored so far was in the primary memory, that is RAM. So once your program is terminated, you will no longer be able to access those particular values. But here, if I want to store any value permanently in order to get the same value again when I'm executing my same program for the next time. So for that, I need to store my data permanently. And as we may know, like for storing the data permanently, we need to go to the secondary memory. And for secondary memory, whenever we want to store anything, file is the basic unit. Means secondary memory such as your hard disks, your pen drives, whenever you store anything, if you want to store your name in a pen drive, then how will you do that? At least you will create a text file, you will write your name and then you will save it. So similarly, whenever we talk about saving a data permanently on a secondary device, we will use file as a basic unit for storing the data. So here, in this particular video, we will cover a lot of things about the I.O. means what are the different ways, different functions provided by stdio.h header files and how to do the data communication with the file. That is, how to create a file programmatically, how to store data, how to read the data from it and so on. So here, first of all, whenever we start working with the C input output, we got to see some streams. We can also refer them as a pointer for any type of communication. So, and here we have basically three kinds of streams which are available. That is standard input stream, standard output stream and standard error stream. Whenever you are using any method for reading the data from the user, it will use stdin. Majorly the device is keyboard from where you will enter it. When you will show some data, it will use the std out means showing the output. All right. And at that time, screen will be treated as your major output device. And std error. Whenever there is an error, again, you will show the error in your screen itself. So these are the three things which we will use. Uh, we, we, these are three streams which we will use while doing the operations. In this video particularly, we will not work with std error. But in our coming video, we are going to cover the error handling also. So there, we'll notice how to deal with this std error stream. Now, when I want to create a file programmatically, means through my program, I will use this file structure which will be provided by stdio. So here, I have defined a pointer fopen which will contain the address of a particular file. When I have the address, I can definitely write any particular data and I can also read the data from that particular file because of this location. So here, you will first specify the path along with the file name, with the extension and then the mode of the file. Mode means whether you want to read or just open that file uh, for reading or you also want to write or you want to create a new file, whether it's a text file or binary file and so on. So for such things, we have the mode option. But before getting deeper into the file, let's first see what are the different ways of working with just IO means I'm not including file for now, just keyboard as the input device and screen as your output device. So let's see what are the different ways available here. So let's start with get care and put care. Get care and put care will be used whenever you want to take an input of character type as the name says get character and put character. So for taking the input, we will use get care for printing the character. We will use put care. And here is a simple example. You don't need to pass any argument in the get care. Whenever you will enter a character that will be assigned to that C as you can see C that will be the a sky value. All right. Every character has a sky value, so that a sky value will be stored in the C. And similarly, when you want to print, you can just pass that C. So that particular sky character, character will be printed. 
we'll see all these implementations by the time we'll start the programming now next is for get s and put s this is used for taking and printing the string values string values means character array or any uh, pointer so here uh, this get s will keep on taking the string data we earlier we have worked with the scanf method for taking these uh, string values also but there as soon as you will put a space by default scanf terminates the string with the slash zero the null character but when you will talk about get s putting a space will not terminate your string unless and until it will get a new line means an enter character or the end of file in case you are reading a file and put is will simply put that particular values whichever from wherever you are reading to the output stream all right to the std out so this is the simple syntax like here i have taken the uh, character array as we don't have anything like string data type so we were uh, just uh, managing it with this uh, character array so for taking the input i have used get s str means whatever you will be entering that will be stored in this particular array you don't need to specify any uh, format specifier right because it is dedicatedly designed for string values only then you entered put s str all right so in both the cases get s and put s you will just pass the character array and it get s will take the data and while put s will print the data whatever is there in that particular location now next method is your scanf and printf we were already working with this which is used for a formatted input and output every time we worked with the uh, scanf or printf we use some set of format specifiers so that is what we actually do with that again scanf was used for uh, taking the data from the user that is the standard input stdin and it is used for std out so this is the simple program as i said we have already worked with that so you will not be troubled all right again we'll definitely see one program for this particular methods also now let's get started with the file you know the different ways of taking the data all right now once you have taken the data and later maybe you want to store that particular array of that particular value inside a file so this is how you can open a file all right which would be created or maybe not created if created that all depends on the on the mode where you will specify these different modes for example r for reading if you want to open a file for reading make sure in that particular situation your file should be existing write mode if you have already created a file this w mode will override that file but if the file is not there it will create a new file for you a for append means if you have already created a file and want to append some data after the existing text then you should go for this particular mode even in this case if your file is not existing it will create a new file if this i want to read the file data also this append method will not help you because it will only provide the facility of appending the data similarly w mode will not allow you to read the data but only for writing similarly using r mode you will only be able to read the data but if you want to perform double functionality at once you can go for r plus w plus and a plus wherein r plus you can read the data along with writing as i said in r modes or r plus mode the file must be existing in w plus mode you can write the data along with the reading but if your file is not existing it will be created and in a plus if your file is not created it will be created this a plus mode will create it and will start writing the data if file is already existing it will append the data from the uh, text after which was already existing and then after you can also read w plus and a plus also provide you reading facility from the beginning a plus will definitely start writing from the end of the particular file but reading will be start from the very beginning 
and once you are done with all the things then later you can close using that particular file pointer so all these buffers will be released your file data will be saved so rather than discussing all these concepts more theoretically let's start working a practical in the practical we will start with the basic uh, input output methods and then later we will begin with the file handling implementation so in this implementation first we will cover the couple of methods which we use for taking the input and for printing the value uh, like first of all we'll see get care which will be used for taking a character whatever character you will take that will be taken as per the sky character sky value for example here you can see like it's not character it's c of integer type but whenever i'll get the character and i will print the value using put care the value which is there in the particular sky will be given for example if i will enter small a here so you can see it's small a but what it is returning it is returning you 97 97 is the sky value of small a similarly whichever character you will enter the particular sky will be returned and make sure that you are using the integer kind of variable here not a character while working with the get care and put care similarly let's have a look in the another example where we can check about the get s and put s that is used for getting and putting the string from the which will take from the user so as we have already used scanf printf for any type of take input and output but here we are just working with some specialized methods from the same stdio.h so here you can see I have taken the string character array and uh, which will take a user input using get s and I will print that value so you don't need to specify the format specifier as this one is the dedicated one for the string so let's execute this and here you will see like uh, this is C language tutorial tutorials point all right so this is what we get in the output that same value so you can use the couple of methods more methods uh, specifically for the data types and you can use them for the input and output now let's get started with the file operations so now here in this very simple implementation what you can see is first of all I have defined a pointer variable for the file which is a predefined structure provided by stdio and inside this pointer I will just create a file in a particular mode I'll open that and the location for that particular file will be stored in this pointer so as here you can see like f open test.txt like test.txt is a file you can also pass the absolute location of the file but in this particular case since wherever your exe file or executable file is residing the same location I'm going to create this file how can I say like I'm going to create because you can see the mode it's w plus means writing and reading so if this particular file is already existing that will be overwritten by a new instance of that file with the same name otherwise that new file will be created and you can write the data you can read that as well if I'll just use w it will not allow you to read the file similarly r mode is for reading purpose in that particular case the file must reside in the location otherwise it may give you a runtime error so these are all the different ways using which you can create or open a file but how to do the read and write operation will cover that in a separate video up next